All right, Chad, what are we doing here? Uh, I'm not sure. I think we're here for a running clinic or something like that. That's what they tell me. <laughs> I'd go to they a just, running clinic. Yeah. They just tell me what they want to learn, and I, and I teach it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, well, we're going to do some, some weightlifting. Uh, lots, of, lots of squat talk first, and, and then get into some uh, snatch session a little later, and clean and jerk a little after that, I guess. So. I have nothing to say. We're pumped. We're pumped? Yeah. What are you here for? Watch Chad Vaughn, mm -hmm. show us some lifting, give us some uh, tips, Yeah. work on some mobility, loosen up those ankles. <laughs> Technique. Okay. Yeah. Like very much, yeah. I've only been doing CrossFit for six months, so yeah. this is all kind of overwhelming. What kind of, what kind of thoughts do you have before you start a session? Uh, thoughts? Um, yeah. I don't know, I think my mind's usually a little bit scrambled, I guess. Just trying to make sure that everything is yeah. is set up and then uh, and then whenever I do still get a little bit nervous, you know, yeah. so but once it gets started and you know, after those first couple words come out of the mouth, feel pretty good to go and just Yeah. When this in this community it's always a good group. I've never come across uh, any any group of people that um, I don't know. I can't think of anything negative, you know. So it's always a really good, positive group, and everyone's always very uh, open and eager to learn. So it makes for a good, a good day, good easy day. So these are my all-time favorite shoes. Um, got these from Elijah Muhammad at the uh, 2016 CrossFit Games. Uh, he wasn't competing, but. Um, he was doing a workout on the beach, and I made sure I was the first one there at 6 a.m. to get these bad boys. <laughs> when Izzy gives you some shoes, you hang them up. <laughs> That's just what you do. You sure about Jared? Uh, one thing really quick. We'll see. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting. It, it, it's uh, it's an experiment. I like to welcome everybody out. Um, you won't have to listen to me all day. You're actually here for Chad, but just kind of wanted to give you a little bit of reason why I'm here. Um, I worked with Chad off and on for about four years. Um, first time I met him was at the Advanced Weightlifting Course through CrossFit. And when I went to that course, like, I just latched on to what he was teaching. You know, it really made sense to me. So he's done about four sessions with us so far now. And it's just been really good for me to learn. And the fact that he really kind of takes, like, small group sessions of two to three people. I've done a lot of weightlifting clinics where they have 30, 40 people, 70 bucks a pop and you have a guy in the front standing up snatching saying do this it's great I mean you learn something but it's never that hands-on you know every move you make you don't have somebody with a watchful eye on you you know and he's overcome some things just from birth he was born with a club foot on his right leg so to be an Olympian level with having a deformity like that and an imbalance is amazing so like I said I really I really do believe in what he's got to show and offer I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the day, but I'll let you get started. Chad Long. Cool. Thanks. Right. Thank you, Jared. Yep. So I'll write your check to <laughs> Jared, right? Yeah. So thank you for coming, guys. Uh, I'm excited, excited to be here. Always excited to, to get to a new gym and work with a new group of people. This is a bigger group of people, but it's the first session, right? So it's to get, lay, the, lay the foundational information and then to build on top of that in those other sessions where we start to break out and do more moving, that's when those uh, sessions are a little bit uh, smaller. Sum up these goals with three words: flexibility, comfort, and strength. Again, don't let that go in one ear and out the other, because it's in that order. First is developing or understanding that you have the flexibility to do it.
Okay? Because I have good flexibility, I'm able to get into a low upright position. I have the range of motion to do this as opposed to having to stop there. Right? So I'm at the end range of my ankle. I'm bending my knee as much as I can. I have range of motion, good range of motion at those joints. I want you to think about my goal as an Olympic lifter is to get under as much weight as possible, right? So the lower that I can go, the better chance I have to get under more weight. Does that make sense? It's simple math if you think about it that way. What does comfort mean? The best definition of comfort is me being down here with weight, actually talking to you guys. That indicates that I'm pretty comfortable in this position. But along with that, it's about the coordination of this position as well, All right? Coordination meaning it's overall a relaxed position, but being engaged and tight where I need to be tight. So I'm relaxed in my quads and my hamstrings are off, right? I'm not here. That sucks really bad already. I'm sitting down, but I'm tight in my core. So I'm tight here. Even I'm able to do that even while I'm talking to you guys. So my back is not rounding. There's quality and strength and tension there where there needs to be. Flexibility and comfort is never even a the tiniest amount of a thought or consideration. It's all about just squatting however they squat with whatever foot position they're using or told to use and putting more weight on the bar. Right? So it's all about strict strength. But if the bottom position isn't even there, they're just strengthening a partial range of motion. But strength, once you have that, now it's time to start loading more and more weight on the bar and getting not only this bottom position, the support position that it is as strong as possible, but also being able to stand up out of that position. So when you clean it and you, it's in your front rack, if you get stopped here in the bottom, you've got the ability to stand up. All right, now, being able to stand up is one thing, but understand that in that bottom position, that support position, I want excess strength. Your go-to position is going to be that bottom position. Does that make sense? Your default position is going to be that low bottom position. Where is your default position right now? See what I'm saying? With heavier and heavier weight, your body is going to default somewhere. And until that bottom position is excessively strong, it's not going to be your default position. So this is step one, flexibility, comfort, and strength from my feet all the way up through my thoracic. And now when I put a bar overhead and I need the same thing in the front rack, I need flexibility, and com flexibility comfort, and strength here, first in the standing position, and then being able to maintain that as I go down. Again, so same three in the front rack. Wrist back, elbow locked, shoulder down. Wrist back, elbow locked, shoulder down. Flexibility, comfort, and strength. 2.5 people, people. Do the weight of the tricks. Starting back. <laughs>